I can see you in the corner staring, motherfucker. Yeah. You should take a photo. photo. Oh no, oh no, I'm about to go, yo. Shorty drop below the pick. Alright, what's going on guys? Today, we're gonna have a little talk um, about something special. Super special, dude! It is currently about 12 o'clock right now, um, and I'm about to have my first meal of the day. I'm going to have some oatmeal. It's currently heating up right now, behind me. I'm going to add some peanut butter to that, and I'm most likely gonna add a banana to that as well. A little high in carbs, not very high in protein, but super yum yum chocolate chip on the dip. I think we might do a full day of eating today as well. Let's do a full day eating. Yeah, let's do that. One serving of this. It's extremely hard to do. I guess we'll take this one. So, we're gonna eat this up and then we're gonna get into our freaking awesome talk. Macros for this meal are right here, and that's gonna stay there for the remainder of this video. Let's get it. Topic of the day, cardio versus fasted cardio. What's better for you? Brown rice, please. Can I get double chicken? Hi. 
Can I get pico, cheese, and lettuce, please? Macros for the second meal of the day, 39 carb, 27 grams of fat, and 74 protein. So to first understand fasted cardio, we need to understand two different things. There is a difference between being in a fasted state and having an empty stomach. Your stomach can feel empty after, you know, maybe a few hours after not eating. However, you may not be in that fasted state yet. So from not eating, your insulin levels deplete, and they continue to deplete until you eat again. And so f being in a fasted state is when your insulin levels are lower at the baseline. So what happens to your body when you eat food? Well basically, in relation to what we're talking about right here, um, your body takes the food, breaks it down into different molecules for your body to use, such as amino acids, glucose, and fatty acids. These are then carried to your small intestine where they'll be processed and met with insulin. And what insulin's job is to do is to transfer these to your, the rest of your body so that these molecules can actually be used for a purpose. How long it takes for this insulin to, you know, to be all used up and um, drop back down to baseline all depends on the composition and the size of the actual meal that you had. So once your body has completed the job, that's when you finally enter the fasted state or the post-absorptive state. So some research studies that you can find online actually say that fasted cardio increases both your lipolysis and fat oxidation rates. And for those of you who don't know, lipolysis is the breaking down of fat cells for energy, whereas fat oxidation is the burning of that energy by the cells. Basically what this tells us is when you exercise, when your uh, insulin levels are closer to baseline, you're actually able to mobilize and burn more fat during the workout than if your insulin levels were spiked or um, not at a fasted, fasted state. This shows that blood flow to the abdominal region is increased when you're in a fasted state. Not sure about how true that one is. Um, okay, so another thing that you have to understand about fasted cardio is that a, it's not going to fit into everybody's lifestyle, and B, not everybody likes it. Case A is for me. Uh, it doesn't really fit into my lifestyle. What I like to work out is after work, um, and by then I've definitely you know eaten during the day because that's around 6 p.m. Um, a lot of people like to do fasted cardio uh, in the morning when they just wake up because they obviously haven't eaten. Um, and however long, usually between five and eight hours for most of us, right? If that is your choice to wake up and do your fasted cardio in the morning, or you know, if that is your choice to wake up and go to the gym in the morning, you can use fasted cardio as a, t as a technique to increase fat loss for you. However, a lot of people will not like fasted cardio. People don't like it because it makes their stomach feel weird, they're way too tired when they don't have any food in them, and they just feel more drained. You know, if you don't like what you're doing, then why do it? Great meal. Um, not usually used to having that much, um, like, or, you know, trying a vegetarian option like that. However, following the theme of this video, macros will be right here. So, fasted cardio can really tie in quite a bit with intermittent fasting, but that is a topic for a different video because that can take up so much time in itself. You also have to make sure that you are still hitting your nutrition goals. No cardio is going to work if your nutrition goals are not set and you are not hitting them because diet is the most important part of cutting weight fat loss, everything. The most important part is the nutrition. Can't stress it enough. Because health, you must first understand calories. So, so you have a calorie deficit, a calorie maintenance, and a calorie excess. You need a certain amount of food, uh, macronutrients to put inside your body per day. And these all vary by person. It depends on your height, your weight, your age, and different outlying factors like how um, mobile you are during your day, are you sedentary, are you active, um, and 
so this can vary for each different person. So don't like go thinking that you can just copy somebody, you know, somebody else because it's specific to you. Being in a calorie deficit means that you are eating to maintenance minus however many calories. A lot of people will go between like 300 500 calories in a deficit or um, if you're trying to really, really lose weight, they will go a little bit more, but at the same time, it's important not to be in too much of a calorie deficit because that will also make you plateau at a certain point and you might even gain weight again. Back to our topic of fasting cardio. When blood flow is increased in the abdominal region or in any region, basically, um, the less blood flow means that, that there are less fat burning chemicals and thus the fat loss in that region is next time. But regardless of whether what type of cardio you're gonna do, your blood flow is going to be more active than it is not active. So there is a downside to fasted cardio. So it does increase muscle breakdown rates. And so the effects aren't catastrophic necessarily, considering how hard it is to gain muscle naturally, especially for those, those of us hard gainers out there. What a hard gainer is, is exactly what it says, or exactly what the title says. You are muscly challenged, you know? So even though you, you work out, you put in the proper nutrition, it's hard for you to get bigger, you know? Um, you try these mass building exercises, whatever. Anyway, and in case you're not sure why this is um, undesirable, it's simple, because gains, gains. Uh, if you are, you know, breaking down, breaking down all this, uh, this muscle, nutrition, whatever, you're not gonna be able to repair as fast, um, which means that you're not gonna be able to lift as heavy. But many people find that they have a lot less energy when they're, you know, when they're working out in a fasted state, um, just because, you know, food gives you energy. It's just simple as that. However, I know a lot of people that think that they are better off without food in their bodies, um, for the most part. I mean, if you look at, uh, you know, Kino Body, he does the whole intermittent fasting thing, and there's, you know, there's a bunch of other people out there that do the intermittent fasting, he's just the person I named. It's good for, you know, it's good for losing fat faster, but it's not, you know, it's not so good for maintaining muscle and enjoying your workouts. But, yeah. Well, guys, I am finishing this day off with none other than Halo Top ice cream. This is the sea salt caramel flavor. Super good. I like it. This is gonna be 320 calories. And let me see how quickly I can do my math. Um, okay, so this is going to be eight grams of fat, roughly 60 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein to finish the day off. Ending macros right here. Um, I know I didn't eat that much today, um, but that's actually like um, what a normal weekend actually looks like for me. Um, I just don't really eat a lot on the weekends because I'm just so active and busy. And uh, weekdays I eat a lot more, but I still normally hit my macros. Today definitely did not, um, but can't always be on that grind, you know?